Hi, this is Enoch, Art's assistant. Art will uh, tell you something about computers. N now, she will talk to you. So, you should get one pencil and one notebook so you don't forget it. Art, please start now. Why are you calling me Art? Hello, that's Ina, my sis baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> and they call her art him art okay uh what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna show you how to ins to access your remote computer using open ssh server a ddwrt router and a free nx client okay so Let's start our checklist first. Maybe that will uh, help uh, us in our journey. So here is our checklist. First, we need to install the Open SSH server in the client machine, at uh, the server machine. If I will do sudo apt get install Open SSH server, as you can see, it's already installed. So you need to install it in your server the machine which we're going to connect to now to see that if it's running let's try to do this command and if you see something like this okay sshd it means it's listening the daemon is alive what we need to do after that is to configure the configuration file let's open it up and this one is the configuration file you see I changed my port number to 50,000 because it's commonly used that one up to I think it's 20,000 these ports are assigned to systems and we don't want to use anything in this range actually SSH the standard is in port 22 you will be safe if you will choose from ports 40,000 to 60,000 okay I've read this in a wiki page so just look it up it's called list of common TCP or UDP ports it's something like that so let's just change it for 50,000 next the protocol this protocol is for new open SSH um, in installs the protocol used to be one but now they change it to two if you're using a lower version just put there comma one okay and if we this one is in your machine should be defaulted to yes okay we put no here because we don't want because root is the sure user that is installed on any Ubuntu machine so we want we don't want it to be log logable or whatever you call that and public key authentication this one j simply means that uh, this one is uh, almost always compared to this one so let me explain to you how that works first of all let's draw something like the internet okay and you have your modem and you have your router okay and in this router the machines are connected right this one is connected to one machine two machines whatever you have how many computers you have in your network okay now if we're going to log in to this server if for example this is our server okay uh, why is it like that I don't like the look of that font okay if this is the server usually what we do is oh by the way this this one this is what is called the LAN okay LAN local area network while this on this side is called the one wide area network so 
what our ta our goal is that a machine outside our LAN, okay, this machine computer is going to connect to your server which is located here. Okay? But for our purposes, let's try to boot a virtual machine. So inside our local area network so that we can simulate a computer from outside your network to connect to the server okay basically it's this is this is really the scenario meron yata dyan excuse me for that so we I've already opened up a virtual machine here this is karmic and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna connect in our in our case this is going to be the client okay we're gonna connect to the server here okay this is the going to be the client let's say client okay so this is the client so remember this it's going to help us in our scheme in our diagram on the so on the next video I'm gonna show you how to use a password and we're not gonna use a, a key yet but we're going to use it I'm gonna explain that also as well